So, in one of my classes, I won't say which, but there's this guy who, like, always come up to me and talk to me. And he'll just, he'll, he's on the conventional way people do. They just talk about themselves and make comments about what they did this weekend. What I find interesting about this guy is he'll go up to you and he'll ask you the basic, kind of considered awkward small talk questions. He'll ask you, so what did you do this weekend? What are your plans? What did you do yesterday? He'll ask you about yourself. He'll ask you to share first. And he'll go off and he'll ask you to share. And I realize, you know, a lot of people, they don't ne they never really, people these days never really have any real conversations. The way I see people talking these days is they never actually take turns sharing and ask each other questions. In this conventional way, you see people doing like elderly folk at family dinners or these people having, these high class people having conversations. People never really do this anymore. There's just, people never really asked each other about what was going on. They never really sit down and just conversate. That's what I like about this guy. But he'll ask me questions and I'll like share. And you know, I, people these days should be more like that. They should have more conversations, better conversations. They should be able to talk more and be able to freely express themselves with one another. So in this video, I'm going to share you some interesting tips and stories that allowed me to is going is allowing me currently to live a more better life, have more conversations, talk with more people, open up and be more social. And it's just really been affecting my life in a positive way lately. First one I want to talk about is small talk. It's perfectly OK. He'd, yeah, he'd ask me these weird small talk questions like, how are you doing? And of course it's awkward. I just say like, I'm doing good. Uh, what'd you do this weekend? Uh, what, what have you been up to lately? I just say like, oh, I've been going to like Granite Club. I've been wrestling lately. I've been training some weights, you know, I'm trying to hit the gym, get more fit, you know, just stuff like that. Of course it's awkward at first, just sharing little stuff about each other. But eventually something sticks and you find something that you really connect on. Maybe you both like wrestling. Maybe this guy's super like pro at this thing. But small talk it's supposed to be awkward. It's natural to be have be awkward at small talk. And it's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So stop avoiding awkward small talk. Stop avoiding conversations and actually like opening up asking stop avoiding the awkwardness because it's gonna make it more awkward lean into it and be okay with awkward small talk ask that means asking these questions that means going out of your way and asking your friends how they are how they've been up to, what have they been up to how are they doing plans for the weekend be okay with asking these questions another tip that i found very useful is when you ask them these questions they respond with the answer you can actually go ahead and tell them what you've been up to without them asking. They say, what, what have you been up to lately? They give their answer and then the conversation dies there because they don't ask you back. You can actually just go without them asking and tell them all about you. Give them something to cling on to, which I'm going to bring up later in this. But you can actually go without them having to ask you. My grandma, she's not the best at talking to her nephew, me. She's not the best talker. She's not the best at starting conversations, I've realized. You know, we'll be driving around the car and she'll ask me these close-ended questions. She'll ask me, so how was wrestling? What did you do? And then she'll just like keep asking me questions like an interview style, close-ended stuff. That I just have to respond with, great, was it? Good. You can't ask close-ended questions because it dies there. <laughs> you gotta be able to open ask open-ended questions like like how i've been talking about what you do they can respond if they can respond with a sentence instead of just one thing then it's good okay let's imagine that you're on the other side someone's just asked you what have you been up to lately uh how are you you're gonna answer you're probably gonna answer in a very short phrase you could probably answer in the shortest thing what i've been up to lately uh i've been up to weightlifting and then the conversation dies there. You don't, you can't do that. 
if you want to actually have meaningful talks, meaningful conversations with people, actually kind of get good at talking and get it to go further, you have to give them stuff to hang on to. Like, for an example, if somebody asked me what I've been up to lately and I say, I've just been lifting weights, they only have one thing to cling on to. They can talk to you about lifting weights. But if you do something like, what have you been up to lately? So yeah, I've been, I've been lifting weights lately. Just, um, yeah, really trying to get stronger muscles. I've, I think my favorite muscle workout though is chest for like, but really I don't really need it for what I'm doing because I'm, I do wrestling and yeah, you don't really need a good physique for it. But I just like it anyway. Like there's a whole lot more things they could cling on to there. Like they could talk to you about wrestling. They could talk to you about uh, chest exercises, wrestling physique. They could talk to you about working out. There's a whole lot more options for them to talk about. You gave them more stuff. So it's just extending that Velcro and giving them more stuff to hang on to when you're doing talking. When you're asked a question, give them stuff to hang on to. Instead of just saying one thing and then they know nothing about that and it gets it dies there because they don't know what to ask you give them more options I used to be a, actually I used to be the biggest proponent of doing this I had I was like really quiet really shy when I used to at school when I would try talking to people I would never actually talk I'd always see myself like off there observing people's conversations but never actually outputting and talking with them uh might be in like a circle fucking conversation circle whatever bunch of people in a group people are talking and i'm just doing nothing and just standing there not talking what you have to do is you have to show more of your personality you have to lower your filter of what is acceptable for you to say we live in this world with social media and countless pictures of people having these perfect lives and then we compare these to our normal lives unfiltered and realize that we probably live in the shitty world our life's not that great everything's fucked why can't we be perfect and we think that's the norm and we think we have nothing else to share we think we have nothing worth sharing and you don't show any of that you don't talk about any of it but you need to lower your filter and be okay with talking about stuff you always have something in your mind to talk about but most of us we choose not to talk about it because we deem it uninteresting unvaluable to the conversation you just got to be yourself you just got to show you gotta be yourself you can't put on this mask this high mask your personality in front of your friends because you don't want them to think you're weird or something telling them you i make i don't make you not telling them you make youtube videos is going is you masking yourself you're not showing who you really are and it's gonna affect you because you're gonna have nothing to talk about so you can't be afraid to show your personality and not be controversial you can't always uh be a people pleaser because the best way to get nobody's attention is trying to get everybody's you can't please everybody you can't get good with be cool with everybody you have to have some people have to hate you you have to accept that you're gonna be a valued person to others well others are gonna think you're a fucking joke so it's okay for that to happen and you can't you got to be okay for rejection because rejection makes your life better rejection people who are afraid of rejection and being rejected and every conversation turns into a competition when you're afraid of rejection because you don't want to get rejected so you're gonna try your best you're gonna do try to do the right things at the right time and see it as like a competition talking about the right stuff that's going to make you look cool in front of this person and that's not going to go well because you're not showing yourself you're not being yourself and you don't actually know if this person likes you for who you are you're always going to have to live with asking yourself do these people actually like me for who i am or the person that i portray so yeah i used to be in the same situation that i've been talking about i have been in it and i somewhat still am the issue is not really all your fault you see we spend more and more time on our phones, going on social media, going and checking, talking to other people, snapping people, looking at people's Instagram stories, and seeing that these peach people are just taking the perfect pictures, perfect angles, selecting photos, 
They're like filtering their lives out to the bare perfect moments. They're c and all the bad ones, they're really like hidden. Even on social media, they show you the perfect Hawaii trip and they don't show the, our lives are over filtered. We, we always think that everybody else is having a better life than you. You always think that you're down here and everybody's up here when really you're equals. Nobody's, yeah, we just care too much about how we feel and we should choose not to show our personality and we choose to over filter everything and not open up as much to other people anymore. We don't really talk to people as much because we get to hide behind our phones. Conversations like a lost art. Nobody really talks to each other anymore. And I kind of want to bring that back. My vision for the future is I hope that this video allows my viewers to have better conversations. And I hope that you're okay with maybe a little awkward small talk. You're okay with opening up and showing your personality and being okay with maybe getting rejected by somebody but accepting that, accepting rejection, and just being yourself and not changing yourself for somebody else because you want to fit in with a certain group.